Hey everyone, Metagross Freak here with the Nexo Knights Battle Suit Axle. Now I know I haven't done a Nexo Knights video before. Um, this is actually the first Nexo Knights set I've even bought, but I liked the design of these battle suits, and so I wanted to give one a try. So I thought I'd uh, get the one that I liked the most for Axle. So the Battle Suit Axle set is 88 pieces, um, give or take extra pieces. And it is basically this little mech with kind of these little stubby construction worker legs uh, and kind of a bowl motif. I don't follow Nexo Knights, however, I'm sure the show is really good, but uh, on the mech it has a little a, a, a print of kind of like a bull insignia as well as a bull on the, uh, the torso of the character and the uh, design of the arms and the... Uh, the torso piece, the chest piece, kind of resemble that bull logo as well, with the horns being here, and the kind of the triangular head of the bull there, and also the you know the feet kind of look like hooves as well, and of course we have Axel's helmet, uh, which let me pop that off there, has the the, the horns there. Uh, what drew me to this set over the other uh, battle suit sets was its it was the weapon. He has this cool axe blade piece uh, number. Um, 6166892 and oops sorry he has a cool this cool blade piece it just connects by a 1 by 2 uh, uh, stud piece and it just it looks like a really cool uh, blade piece and I know you can't see it on the uh, the screen but this piece here the center piece that the shine is currently on has kind of this cool almost lenicular kind of look and it reminds me a lot of when the Alpha Team Legos did their, let's see, I think you can kind of see the texture there, did the, uh, the magnifying glasses. It, it reminds me a lot of that. It's really cool. Um, and of course, it has one of the Nexo Knights shields on the base of the axe, but this is just a standard gray, so it doesn't have a shield power. It's, you know, just a piece for decoration. Um, it, the uh, the shield attaches through, uh, via one of the CCBS hands, um, as does the axe, and it's very opposable. It's able to uh, pivot in the, the grip, as well as rotate to whatever shield powers you want to have active. Um, right now, mine is blank, and I like to have it on the side, kind of like a buckler. Um, on the back is one of these mini ratchets for you to attach whatever kind of a, uh, a piece you want in the instruction booklet. They show battle suit axle combining with with set number 70351 which is kind of that weird like falcon blade ship into a version. I, I guess there, there's like an ejector like mini craft to give him like I guess it looks like kind of like a flight capability and one of those um, those six stud shooters that were really common in the uh, protectors. It's kind of a cool little combo model, um, though I don't think I would get that. Um, some of the interesting pieces in the model, in my opinion, other than the uh, other than the axe piece, are the shield piece because. I haven't seen anything like this before. I haven't bought... This is, of course, my first Nexo Knights set, and I kind of find the piece to be really interesting. Um, also, a lot of the pieces that aren't just gray or dark gray are, I guess, what the Bionicle fandom would call Keat Orange, which is kind of a, uh, a darker orangish tinted yellow, and I really like that color. Um, also, I, this one has a couple extras, but there's a... on the accents here on the shoulders. It uses some of these translucent orange uh, pyramid gem pieces, which are pretty cool. And I have, so I have, I have an extra one, and so I like that. And um, for the handles of the mech, it has one of these, it has light gray little uh, pistol or fire hose pieces. I haven't seen one of these pieces in a long time when I used to get a couple of the city sets when I was younger. So it's cool to, to have some of these again. Um, Obviously, the two big draws of this set are the uh, the pilot, uh, Axel, and the actual mech core. Uh, the core of the mech is this 
uh, the, the kind of the gray shell, Oop, let me see, is kind of the, this gray scoop shell as well as this, uh, this yellow attachment. And those are pretty new. Those are new to 2017. They come in the battle suits for all the, X, the Nexo Knights, as well as um, as well as the gray piece comes in um, the Lego Batman movies, Mr. Freeze um, battle robot, um, which is it's just kind of cool. I like this, and it uses Mixel joints. Um, um, it looks kind of like these could be used with the other ball joints that were found in like Robo Riders and stuff, though I haven't tested it. But it looks to be about that size. Um, also, Axel is kind of an interesting character. Um, his uh, his legs are roughly minifigure size, and his head uh, sorry his legs are minifig size, and his head and helmet are minifig size as well. But the upper torso is kind of this. It's not really a big fig. It's I, I call it I would I would call it a mid fig, but um, mid fig is actually a name taken for the old Belleville. Jack Stone kind of uh, and four plus sets, so unfortunately we can't use the term mid fig, but I guess you could call it a super mini fig, or maybe a uh, or maybe a uh, a micro big fig. I'm not sure. And then on his back he has uh, room to store one of the uh, Nexo shields or maybe a weapon or something if you want. Um, it looks like there's enough clearance he could probably sit down on like a on like a base plate or something uh, without that interfering. In addition, uh, Axel has two face prints. I have to, unfortunately, the joint on my helmet here is really loose, so that kind of kind of flops around a little bit when I'm doing this. But he has kind of a uh, a heroic grin with a, a with a little snaggle tooth on the side sticking up, and he also has kind of a uh, kind of a, a a stern, frustrated expression. Um, again, with a little snaggle tooth sticking up, putting clay back in the fig. Then the suit is really easy. You just put his hands up in the air, like he doesn't care, and he sits on this uh, this gray block. And I actually did check. If you take the gray block and just have him standing up in the back, it can close, but the arms can't go down all the way. So having him sit on this little block is kind of like having enough gives him enough of clearance to put his arms down, and uh, he actually can almost reach the cockpit controls. You can try to try to pop them in, but it's not required. Um, he stays in there pretty securely because as long as... Oh, hit, these legs are going everywhere. Okay, he stays in there pretty securely because as long as his arms are down, the um, the cockpit piece, as you see, can see, it has a hard time opening. If you try to open it, it actually knocks him out of the seat. So you don't have to worry about him um, falling out of the mech by accident. All right, final part is uh, f final part is uh, I guess the part you're probably looking forward to the most if you play the Nexo Knights game, and that's the shield powers. And I do not know the shield powers, but I I'll give them silly names. Um, there is uh, the there's a, a clear clear and white shield that has a bowl on it. Um, so I guess you could call that bull rush or something. There's a yellow. Uh, there's a yellow shield with a axe striking the ground, which I guess it could be axe smash. Um, there's a red shield with two fists that I'm going to call a uh, bro fist. A blue shield that I'm going to call uh, that I'm going to call uh, call this one. Nobody expects the banana uh, because League of Legends references are great. Um, and there's a green shield with a musical note, which I'm just going to call uh, bard. Bard, because uh, to my knowledge, there are not any bard characters in Nexo Knights, so I guess they need a shield to fill in the role of the bard. Um, based on the color scheme and the theme, I think the best ones to include are uh, the Bull Rush, or what I'm calling Bull Rush, the Axe Smash, and the uh, the Bro Fist, because it's based on what limited knowledge I know about Clay. I'm sorry, not Clay, Axel. I feel those would probably fit him the best. The uh, the uh, Nobody Expects the Banana and the Bard uh, don't fit the color scheme, and they don't seem to be relevant abilities, other than the fact that I know Axel is apparently a character whose primary defining feature is that he likes to eat, like, everything. So, there we go. There is Battle Suit Axel. Um, it cost me $10 at my local Walmart. 
I will probably not get any other Nex of Knights uh, sets unless I really decide I want to get another one of the um, the mech, these little battle suits. Uh, so thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and have a great one.